Poppy is 23. Life's happier for her now. But just a few years ago, it was a very different story. She struggled through her teenage years, which strained the relationship with her mum. I did rebel a lot. I used to steal. I used to run away. I'd be smoking, uh, drinking, just hanging around with the wrong people, really. And my mum just had enough. So she said, I'm going to have to tell you to pack your bags and go. Poppy spent the next few months staying with friends and went through a period of homelessness before falling pregnant with her first child. Mum basically said, look, you know, you can't, you can't look after yourself on your own. Let me take care of you and my grandchild. And I moved back to hers. Not long after Poppy gave birth, the relationship between her and her mum deteriorated again. And so she decided to move out, this time leaving her daughter with her mum. I wanted to do everything everyone else were doing at 18. I thought I knew it all and I didn't and I started getting involved with the bad people again and uh, it just brings back all these bad memories. Another difficult couple of years followed and then Poppy fell pregnant with her second child, Jamie. And I fell in love with him straight away. I was more than ready to be a parent then. I thought about how life needed to change so I started to make sure that I put him first. Determined to turn her life around for both of her children, Poppy sought help. It was then she was referred onto a Braith Aid programme and met her one-to-one -one caseworker, Vicky. When I first met Poppy, she was obviously very vulnerable and I think I got in at the right time with her. When she opened up to me, she said, you know how easy it was to talk and I just have to encourage her and support her. And I think it's made her a lot stronger. I'm just flying through my exams. You're doing really well, Poppy. Yeah. So, I'm so proud of you. Feels great to have someone in my corner so I can just um, listen to what I've got to say. I actually don't know what I'd do without her. Thanks to support from Vicky and Braith A Trust, Poppy is now back in college. She's also looking after her son, Jamie, and has regular contact with her mum and daughter. She's proved to herself that life can be better, and she knows that she can have that now.